So we've got a cone. You made it yourselves. You can see that it's made up of a circle. This bit, this part of the bigger circle wraps around becomes the cone. So the radius of the bigger circle becomes the smaller cone. So the formula that you need to know is pi r squared plus pi r l. What's the difference between those two bits for you? Again, just like with the cylinder, you had two circles and then a rectangular bit. Well, in a cone, you've got one circle, just one pi r squared, and then pi r l is this bit, which is what we would call the curved surface area of the cone. Or in this case, they called it the lateral. So all you need to do is draw a diagram, write down the formula, and then you can use it. Okay guys, so I'm starting. Let's do the volume first because that's what we've done already. So the volume of this cone, what's the formula for the volume? Pi r squared times height divided by three. So we just say that is pi times three squared times Don't know because that's L, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. This is pi. We need pi. So how do we do that? It's seven. It's seven. Um, it's not. Is it? Square root. How would it be seven? Four. Two less than four. So we're going to say that. Let's call that h. Because it is point six five. H squared plus three squared equals four squared. H squared minus three squared. So that's sixteen minus nine. Seven. And then it's two point six five. If we round. Well, actually, I'm going to leave it as the square root of seven at the moment, just so that. I don't think it's been a problem in this case, but I can now put it in there and then just work out that. So my volume is 9, that bit, times the square root of 7, I'm just going to put times pi last. So if you do all of that in one go, and round my answer, what do you get? 42.8. Forty-two point two. How did you get that? Nine. No. I know I did that. Yeah, I got forty-two point two. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Just check. At uh, nine yeah. times the square root of seven um, times <coughs> Seventy-four point eight. Yeah, that's like, oh, that's but but we haven't divided by three. Oh. Oh, I didn't do that. And then let's do divide by three. Fourteen. Fourteen point zero. Twenty-four point nine. And the volume units are cubic centimeters. So that's the volume, that's sort of what we did last time. Yeah, I I got fourteen. I got forty two point seven. No. Yeah, yeah, I got I got that two. Yeah, I've got forty two point seven. Yeah, I got forty two point seven. Did you close the bracket after the seven in the square root? No. No. That'll be it. Okay, yeah, uh, don't get lazy with that. When you put this into your calculator, if you do 9 times square root, and it's a bracket, and then you do the 7, and then if you just do times and pi, right? If you do all of that like that, guys, Sammy, 
So if you start from the left here. So if you do that, then it will imagine that you meant to put your bracket there. All right? Which means it will take the square root of 7 times pi, which is not what you want. So don't get lazy. Close your bracket after. All right? Or put the pi in front and do the square root of 7 last. Oh, I messed that up by moving it. Okay, so make sure you do that. All right, so let's do the surface area now of this um, you know. So we've got area equals pi times 3 squared. Plus, plus pi times 3 times 4. Pi times 3 times L is the slant height of turn, so we'll give you that nice and easy. Okay. And it is 66 centimeters. So this time we've got Wait, 9 right. pi plus... 12 pi. Now I just want to introduce you to this, the exact answer, does anyone know what it would be? 66.65. It's actually no, going to be 21 pi. Where's the question? Like What's the question? Is the question is this. That's in terms of pi. That's in terms of oh, pi. Oh, so we're doing the volume. We're doing the surface area. It still gives us the same... Um, I'm introducing you to this, and I want you to write it down, all right, because I may well ask for that in a, in a question, all right. That is your answer in terms of pi, and this for a criterion D, the accuracy of that is it's exact. It's the exact answer because we've left it in terms of pi, uh, which means we don't need to do a decimal and round it. So quite often, that's why we have pi as a letter like that, because we can keep the letter in there. We don't ever have to round it. Now, if we were going to actually measure and create that, we'd have to measure with a ruler. Obviously, we can't measure pi, so we would turn it into an actual measurement of centimetre, square centimetres, because the units of this would be square centimetres. So if we do 21 times pi and round it, we get 66. Yeah, 65.97, okay, which we would round 66 to 66. But, as I've always said, if you're going to round, especially when you round it to a whole number, Make sure show what you've got before you round it. What's that mean? What's the problem? Got any problems? Right. Now, guys, that's just a cone. It's the surface area of the cone. Um, Base and curved area. What you remember we were talking about your potential um, not your potential, your assessment, it's going to be coming up with sorts of things like that. Would I use that whole equation to do the surface area of the roof? Yeah. No. no. Because you don't count the cylinder. Yeah, good. So if you've got cones where you can say that right. The cone sits on top of the cylinder because it's surface area. That circle, I guess gone. I should do this in So you just do uh, pi times 3 times 4. Exactly. Pi times so you'll see a lot of the time, um, pi times the radius. Uh, this is one of those questions where surface area gets a little bit, you have to think about it a bit more. So if I have the surface area of a cone, it does include the bottom. But if I stick that on top of a cylinder, well, both formulas change, don't they? Because this cylinder does still have the bottom circle, but it doesn't have this one in between. All right? So in the, for the cone, we have, what was it? Pi r squared plus pi r l. And for a cylinder, we have 2 pi r squared plus... 2 pi r h, all right, so that's the cylinder. But this compound shape, 
Well, the cone needs to be minus the circle, so that just goes. And the cylinder is also minus that same circle, so we lose that. Right? We lose one of those two circles. All right? Higher L. So this shape would just be pi R L plus, plus pi R squared pi R squared plus, plus pi R squared. This H, though, what do I have to be careful about this H? Um, the height is the height of the cylinder. Perfect. The H is the height of only the cylinder, not the height of the whole structure. Okay? So you have to be aware of when you get the H. So you can see. Um, I'll put that back in a sec. So you'll be doing it. I'll put it back in a sec. I didn't say that already. Cool. All right. So you've got these, but you can see how it extends into these kind of shapes. Yeah, look. Oh, oh my gosh, that looks cool. What is the water tone? So this is where the frustrum's interesting. So I like those types of things. All right. So so that's your task now, um, is to do practice four. Practice four, which is on page 171 of your textbook. I'll put you on there. Thank you. Thank you.